Austro Control um, is the Austrian ANSP, the Air Navigation Service Provider. We are uh, providing air traffic control services here and everything comes belong. And in addition, some tasks we have been uh, given by the authority, like auditing, licensing airlines, flight training schools and more. The location where we're here now, the Towers of Vienna, is uh, basically responsible here for the airport itself, meaning the runway and the assigned airspace. And in addition, as we do not have any kind of ramp control here, also for all the ground movements, uh, including starter pushback and the aircraft taxiing in. Assigned airspace means crossing our airspace. And as all controllers here are radar controllers, fully licensed, we provide the arrival and departure separation as well. The key tasks of uh, everything we're doing here can be basically seen as three of them. Number one is um, safe handling of air traffic. Obvious to anyone, not discussed, not questioned anywhere, of course. Second is efficiency and capacity. Um, as well, paramount, everyone needs to go in, in and out as quick as possible. Delays cost money. Um, aircraft utilization is an issue, so this is something we have to take care about. Um, especially at an hobby airport. Third one is uh, comparably new compared to the other one is um, obeying environmental rules. People get more and more annoyed about noise. CO2 emissions and others are essential. So we have to perform our work in order to respect this task uh, as well. Being efficient and protect the environment at the same time, sometimes parts of it exclude each other. Uh, this is one of the key issues. The other one is the always ever-changing environment. Uh, new regulations, European regulations, local regulations, new aircraft, new equipment, new technical features. When we decided to um, upgrade our towers here and, and move ahead in the development, there were, we were facing various challenges, of course. Uh, one is to, to find the right partner, to find the right products, um, as there are many out there. And with ADP SafeGate, we found a partner where everyone there basically is ready and willing to to go this extra mile, and you can imagine that it's not always easy for an ANSB even to describe requirements. So sometimes providers and users are talking a different language, and once you've found a base that everyone understands everybody, so when I say I need this and this and how it should work, and I have someone on the other side open to understand what I mean and then really delivering what I mean and not what they probably have been thinking before, this is for us a huge important step. Investment of course in the first step is spending money but if you do it wisely and I think and I hope we did it wisely then in the long run you you just save money as well. What has made this story such a success story is not only did we get the product we wanted uh, with each and every detail we got even more because by doing it and developing we found out how it could be improved. What has been so impressive is that it was finished ahead of time and this this gave us all the confidence that ADB SafeGate is the partner for us and as said before it still is and will be. If you look around here then, then you see various products of course as just mentioned from ADB SafeGate. Um, mentioned before already digital flight strips which of course is not the very first version already we have upgraded this over the years now. Uh, people embrace it here because of its ease of use. Um, surveillance, ASMAX, um, proven here um, for more than 15 years. We had it before on the old tower already. Um, digital flight clearance is part of the electronic flight strips. Uh, data exchange software running in the background, not visible to the user, what well, is a good thing. Uh, and departure management. Um, Vienna is a full uh, CDM airport, relying on the departure management system, also closely, tightly integrated into the system, just working. Everything has been re-evaluated and um, yes, most of the things have even exceeded our expectations. Another thing that might be underestimated sometimes is the training of the users. Uh, how much of an effort does it take to train the people, to make them comfortable with the new software-hardware combination? And right from the beginning we were always looking together with ADP SafeGate on doing even this and keep the effort you have to take for training the staff or for licensing, for certifying everything um, on a minimum. This is time and money again. It's a question of acceptance of the users and as well here we are very satisfied. We have been doing some studies on the head down time of controllers, um, comparing the paper strip generation and now with uh, the Tiflis electronic flight strips. And while some people have been afraid that when there is an electronic flight strip system, people will just stare down on the strips already, we found out in studies on a simulator that we could actually reduce the head down time by 90%. It means the system is extremely 
easy to handle. It requires a minimum of time. Again, that frees up capacity and people can focus more on their task. So this is a question of capacity. The other one, ASM GCS, 90 to 95% capacity, even in CAT 2, 3 conditions. That means we are almost independent on, of any kind of weather phenomena. This is a success.